Today we will go over how to create a patient's raw report. The patient's raw report is located here under reports, standard, and it is under the lists section and it's titled patient's dash raw. This report is designed to create simple queries using the patient table. These queries can be useful for creating mailing lists with patient addresses or email addresses and any other information you're wanting to see about your patient. We do have our queries example page available on our website for more complex queries than the ones that you can create here with the patient's raw report. This first tab that we begin on, the select tab, is for choosing which informational fields will show on your report. You can choose any fields here that you're wanting to show. If the fields that you're wanting to include are not directly in a row with each other, you will need to hold down the control key on your keyboard. Otherwise, if you go to select your next item that is not directly in the row with the other ones, it will unselect your previous items. So if I'm wanting to make sure that I get all of that and the address, I'll want to hold down my control key on my keyboard before clicking this address button. And then I can include any information that I'm wanting to see. Next to your patient box here to choose which patient fields you're wanting to see, you do have these referral options. You can choose to see patients that were referred to, referred from, or referred custom. And this is referring to the referrals that you would attach to them in their family module under that patient information. If you do choose to include a referral type on your report, it will only show patients with that referral type and it will exclude all patients without that referral type. So you will want to be careful about that. We do have other referral reports available if you're looking for information specifically about your referrals. On the second tab here, the where tab, this is where you would put in conditions to limit what shows on your report. Patients will only show on your report if they meet all conditions that you add here to the where tab. If they don't meet every condition, they will be excluded from your report. So we can add any filter option here that we would like. For example, if we would like to only see our adult patients, we could say we want to see patients where age is greater than or equal to 18. And then when I click add to add that to my report, it will only show me patients that are 18 or older. So once you click add, you will see that it will add a line here for that filter option. And then when you're ready to run your report and see your results, you can go ahead and press this OK button at the bottom. And that will generate your report. So you can see here with these birth dates, none of these patients are below 18 with their birth dates. So we know that the condition that I added in here is working because it's only showing me patients that are older than 18 according to their birth date here. Once you run the report, you can go back to the patient's raw report if you're wanting to add or remove anything. If you're wanting to see more informational fields or add a new where condition, you can definitely do that. You would just press your close button down here at the bottom and it will take you directly back to that report. So if I wanted to add in another filter option, perhaps city, maybe I want to see only the patients that live in the city where my dental office is. So I can say where city equals and then you can put in the city where you live. Our open dental headquarters is located in Salem, Oregon, so I'll go ahead and use that as our example city. Once I click add again, you'll see it right down here so we know it's been added to the report, and I can go ahead and press OK to generate that. And then now it's showing me far fewer patients. It's only showing me the patients that say that they live in Salem. If I decided that this is too limiting, I can again go back to my report and change that. So if I press close, it'll take me right back to my patient's raw report again, and I can remove this field. So if I decide I don't want to limit it by 
them living in Salem as their city, I can remove this. You would just single click on it here and then choose this delete row button and that will remove it from your report. You can then go back and add any other fields that you're wanting to add. If you choose to filter it by primary provider, it will show you the prime the providers that you have added into your system so that you can just choose which one you're wanting to filter it by. You don't have to remember that information and be able to type it in. The system will bring it up for you. So if I wanted to see patients whose primary provider was Dr. Ryder here, I can go ahead and select them, click add and add them to my report here, and then click okay to run and see that information. So it looks like all of these patients are over 18 and have a primary provider of Dr. Ryder. Once the query has been generated, you can select individual rows of information here to copy and paste elsewhere. So if you were only wanting to take the information about select patients, you can go ahead and select them. Again, using control on your keyboard to select any patients that are not in a direct row. And then you would right click and then choose this copy rows option to copy the rows that you currently have highlighted. And then you'd be able to take that information and paste it elsewhere. You do have some other options inside this user query window as well. If you decided that this was a report that you might want to run again in the future, you can add it to your favorites. So you won't have to go back through that process of creating it again in Patients Raw. It would just be here in your favorites for you to easily run again. So you could decide to add it to your favorites. You would name it whatever you wanted to name it, maybe for this one, patients over 18. And then once it's added to your favorites, you can easily run this report again. So once it's in your favorites, you can go here to reports, user query favorites. It will be right there where you saved it. You can go ahead and select it and press OK, and it will just run that report for you again. You do have some other options inside here as well. So you can print preview it. If you wanted to print this report, you can see what it would look like before you printed it to make sure that is actually what you would want to print. And then see this information here, you'd be able to see what it would look like after it was printed. Unfortunately, you can't print from this window. So if you decided you did want to print it after you generate your print preview, you would just close out of here and then press this actual print button here. You can just directly print as well if you don't want to see that print preview first. We also have this export button available. This will allow you to export it to another program and save it on your computer. So if you wanted to export it to Excel, perhaps, you would be able to then um, manipulate the information in Excel however you were wanting. So you can choose to export it and save it on your computer. Again, if you do decide at any point that you're wanting to add more information here, you can close it and go back. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have any additional questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. Make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos by subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications.